You're listening to The Monetized Mom, the podcast that teaches moms of faith how to monetize their expertise online to create influence, impact, income, and more importantly, financial independence. I'm your host, Flo Alexander. Let's chat. Hey, mama, if you're listening to this, I know one thing about you. You want to be able to exit your corporate career so that you can spend more time with your spouse and kids, have the freedom to travel and live life on your own terms, all while creating real transformation and impact in the lives of others with your expertise. Well, you're in luck. I just released a new case study on the method moms are using to build a profitable online business, make a full-time income from home, and quit their nine to five. You can access it now at themonetizedmom.com forward slash study. That's themonetizedmom.com forward slash study. Again, themonetizedmom.com forward slash study. Let's get on with the show. Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to another podcast episode. This week, I'm here to talk about something that has really been a topic of discussion for like the past month for me, um, or at least something that's been on my mind. Um, you guys know last month I attended a business boot camp, and one of the things that we talked about there, well, actually, I gave my takeaways in a previous episode, but I wanted to talk about some other things that was brought up in the discussions that were had within that room. So I want to share another topic that we discussed, and that is the idea of measuring success and growth in more ways than vanity metrics. So today I'm going to be talking about three ways to measure growth in your business that doesn't include social media followers or sales. So oftentimes the narrative that's fed to us is that we need to look at numbers like your follower count or even your sales. But there are other ways that you can measure growth within your business that you also need to acknowledge measure and also track. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about three ways that you can measure growth in your business that does not include your social media follower account or sales. So the first way that you can measure growth in your business that does not include social media follower account or sales is leads. Now by leads, I mean how many people think that your content is valuable enough that they will exchange your information for it. So these are people who are on your email list. These are people who are on your text message list or whatever other median of uh, ways that you contact them. Nonetheless, they have exchanged their personal information and are allowing you to contact them in exchange for some valuable information. So how does a lead equate to growth in your business? I know you're wondering like, well, what does number of leads has to do with growth, right? The more leads means that you've grown into a better marketer. So you are clear on your target audience and your content resonates with these people. Therefore, they are attracted to your platform and they are willing to give up their information, their contact information in order for you to contact them in exchange for some valuable content that you said that you were going to give to them. So that means that you are clear on that target audience. They have found you, but in order for them to have found you, that means that you're also clear on your messaging. So you are producing content, you are speaking their language, you are speaking in a way um, that will attract them to your platform. So you have mastered marketing from the aspect of messaging and content, but also you are also grown in the fact that you are giving things of value. So that means your messaging is on point, but also your content on point. So is on point. So that means that you have grown in your marketing and that you've also grown in your content. So if your lead count is uh, increasing, that means that you've grown. That means that you've grown in that area. So you might say, well, my lead count can actually increase if I run ads. And that's not true. Like you could literally run ads all day. And if your messaging is off and if your content is bad, you won't get leads. It will not convert. And you will be one of those people who says, you know, ads don't work. No, it means that your messaging is off and your content doesn't necessarily have value or you're not resonating with the right people. So if you are growing your leads, if your email list is growing, that is a way to measure growth in your business. And it shows that, hey, my messaging has grown. I've gotten better as a marketing when it comes to messaging and I've gotten better when it comes to my content. So that is the first way that you can measure growth outside of social media followers and also your sales. So the second way 
um, that you can measure growth in your business is by measuring your own knowledge. Do you actually know more? Have you invested time in yourself to actually provide valuable information? Are you able to do something that you weren't able to do before? Do you have more clarity? These are all ways that you can measure growth within your business because you yourself are growing. You're investing in yourself to grow. So if you can see that I know more than I once knew, I'm able to do more than what I would than what I was once able to do, then you have grown. Therefore, your business has grown. Now you have grown in your value and what you're able to provide to other people because your knowledge has expanded. So the first way is measuring leads. And the second way is to measure your own growth. Have you grown? Have you learned more? Have you invested to learn more? The third way that you can measure growth in your business that is not anything to do with social media or anything to do with sales is actually, well, a little bit with sales, but profitability. Are you actually profitable? Now, you can have sales growth. Like, I'm not saying that sales growth is is not something that you want to measure. You can have sales growth, but at the end of the day, if the net profit is zero, that is not growth. If you've made $5,000, but it took you $5,000 to make that, is a net zero. That's not growth at all. That is neutral. That is not growth. So you need to measure how profitable you actually are. So the idea is that as your sales increase, increase, which is a measurement of growth, your profitability also increases. Your profit margin increases, meaning your income is increasing, but your expenses are not increasing at that same rate. Your expenses are either staying the same or they are increasing at a much slower rate than your in- income is increasing, meaning your profit margin is growing. So that is a way that you can measure growth in your business. And honestly, the, the metric that you truly need to be looking at, how profitable is your business? Are you spending more than you're actually earning? Are you spending as much as you are earning? The idea is to spend less. And as your profitability grows, that is a sign that you have become more efficient in your business, meaning you've learned how to make more money by spending less money. That is that's a sign of profitable profitability. You are making more money while also not spending more money. So that is a good way to measure how efficient you become in your business. And efficiency could just be you become more efficient in um, converting your leads into customers. Efficiency means that you have a better process for that or you have better marketing or you have a better pricing structure. There is something that has grown and become more efficient in your business that allows you to be more profitable. And that is a better metric for you to track as opposed to just sales alone. You have to look at the whole picture. You have to look at how much revenue is coming in, but also how much is going out. And the idea is for you to have a greater profit margin and for that to be growing over time, which is a sign that you have become more efficient in your business and you have grown from that aspect. Okay. So those are three ways that you can actually track growth in your business that has nothing to do with the social media follower account or anything to do with sales. These are the KPIs or key performance metrics or indicators that you do want to be tracking. It's nice to track to see how much your followers have grown. It's nice to see, you know, how much you have increased in your sales uh, revenue. But the real thing is how much, how many leads do you actually have of those social media followers? How many of them actually become leads on your email list that you can contact at will who are more likely to convert into customers? And then how much have you yourself grown? How much knowledge have you gained? How much have you grown from where you started? How much more do you know? How much valuable are you when it comes to your information? And lastly, has your profitability grown? Have you become more efficient in your business? Are you making more money while also spending less or not increasing your expenses at the same rate? Those are things that you should be measuring in your business that are a better sign of growth than the vanity metrics of just sales or just social media follower account. All right. So hopefully that information was helpful. If it was, don't forget to leave a review and comment. 
and also share this to someone who will be helpful. And as always, if you're looking for support in your business, head on over to themonetizedmom.com forward slash book to schedule a complimentary strategy session where I'll work with you to figure out exactly how you can grow your business so that you can eventually leave your nine to five career. All right. I'll talk to you in the next episode. Thank you.